Kelly Kemper, ladies and gentlemen. sunshine, my friends, before you my eyes. You really are. I mean, no, you no. can't say your name without the synonymous joy, comedy, beauty. No, go on. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, that's very kind of you because all of that back at you a hundredfold, Drew Barrymore. So thank you for saying that. Well, <laughs> I've always loved you so much. No. But I never knew that you might have a personal synonymous revelation for me. Yes. So let me set this up. Okay. Um, when we first started the show, oh. we were lucky enough to have Ellie as a guest. <laughs> um, I was new. Uh, I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, we were in a pandemic, so we were on Zooms, which also added extra layers of, well, really, there's just no excuse. Um, <laughs> okay, well, for those of you who may have missed Ellie's last appearance, well, I, there's no other way to say it. I could only show it. it that'll sell it. <laughs> the wonderful Ellie Kemper! <laughs> you have been this beacon of joy and comedy. Beautiful, funny, charming, whimsical. The Office, Kimmy Schmidt, Bridesmaids, scene stealer, brilliant woman that you are. You say Ellie Kemper and people are like, oh my gosh. Gosh darn it, I just want to turn it over to you. I have like such deep respect for you. It's funny to hang out with you. She is just so good. I mean, you're just. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, that, it, it, it changed my life. It changed uh, the way I do my job. Uh, I thought I was trying to honor you and all I did was talk over you. You did not that at all. And, beside, and by the way, I wanna tell you, when we had our fantastic conversation that I was so lucky to be a part of, I did not note, I thought it was in equal, equal parts. I noticed a banter back and forth. I, only upon watching that, first of all, that's like, you're just showering me with praise. It's beautiful. I but yeah, I, I guess I didn't talk as much, but I... I don't think you could have. <laughs> I Zambonied you. You didn't Zamboni me. You came out flat, like I, I literally <laughs> steamrolled with love. So this time I, I feel like, um, I'll just be quiet now. Okay. <laughs> and I'll take, I'll take the floor. Yes. Okay. Um, there are a few things I wanted to talk about. You guys, my five-year-old really loves animals and he's really into ages and numbers right now and everything and full of questions. As you know, kids ask a lot of questions. So he asked me a long time ago when the first centipede appeared. I have no idea when the first centipede appeared. I Googled it and it's 430 million years ago. I didn't stop there though, because then I realized 430 mil million years ago, we always talk about um, uh, dinosaurs, which I, apparently were only 230 million years ago. So this means that centipedes, which are not extinct, have been on this earth for 200 million years longer than dinosaurs. Is that crazy? You always think dinosaurs are the oldest. So then I looked up cockroaches because everyone always refers to the cockroach as the most resilient insect ever. There's some debate on the age of cockroaches, but the, even the oldest estimate says only 350 million years ago was the first cockroach. So do you understand? Why are we giving more credit to the centipedes? That's what I want to know, you know? <laughs> and so now... <laughs> anyway, all this made me wonder how old are humans? And by that, I mean modern humans, homo sapiens. They're only 300,000 years old. 300,000 years old! Centipedes are 430 million years ago. Anyway, it was a really interesting biology lesson and it also somehow humbled me. And now I think, maybe you understand why I didn't have the floor last time. Are you kidding me? I feel like we're your lucky kids who get to hear this amazing, who doesn't want to have mom teach them 
the ways of life and the facts of science and uh, nature. Google, Google. I, I think yeah. we like to say cockroach because it's such a good word. Oh, cockroach. it's so satisfying to say cockroach. It <laughs> is. I, I, I refer to, I say cockroaches all the time. Like, oh, that cockroach. <laughs> you mean to describe a person? Yes. yes. <laughs> I do. I love that. <laughs>